Hello everyone, it's Hindash and this is Timmy. Today's video is one of my most requested videos ever. I always get comments about this. <laughs> and it is about makeup on mature skin. Now I've been looking and looking and looking and I came across a beautiful Caroline here in Dubai and we've been following each other for a while. We've been planning this for a long time actually. <laughs> And this is the look that I created. I really wanted to emphasize her beauty and just enhance what she already has. I mean, she is stunning. So this video is all about enhancing what you have, really perfecting what you are born with. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. So here is the beautiful Caroline and I'm going to be starting off with a bit of skincare and I'm taking the Caudalie Beauty Elixir to just refresh her face. And you know the drill, I love this spray. It just preps the skin for skincare. And for skincare, I'm gonna be taking the Vichy Mineral 89, and this is basically a hyaluronic acid serum. And I'm just gonna be putting this all over the skin and massaging it in and prepping the skin for moisturizer and creams. And with this, I always like to take the time to massage it into the skin to really wake the skin up and just make my model feel great and good. <laughs> And I talk to her more about her skin type and I get to know what her skin is like so I know what products to use next. For eye cream, I'm gonna be using the La Mer the Eye Concentrate and I'm just gonna be putting that underneath the eyes and massaging it in and tapping it very gently and just letting it sit there and do its work. Because it's a nice rich cream, makeup is gonna sit on top of it beautifully as well. Again, tap and massage into the skin. I also like to take the eye cream on any dry patches on the skin. For moisturizer, I'm taking the Sisley Ecological Compound, and this is their one of their really popular creams. Now, what I found about this is that it's very, very scented. It smells like lavender. So if you are very sensitive to scent, I would maybe try this in the store because it is very scented. And again, I'm going to be rubbing that into the skin, doing more of that blood circulation and getting things going. For foundation, I'm taking the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation, and this is in the shade 315N. And I was so excited to try this, and it is a luminous foundation, so I thought it would work beautifully on Caroline. Now, Caroline is very tanned all over her body, and she's a bit lighter on her face, so I'm matching more of her body. Even though she's wearing a turtleneck, I can still see her hands, and you can see a bit of her neck and her ears. And as always, I'm going to be taking a bit of that on the back of my hand and working it in in very thin layers. This finish is beautiful. You get to see it more in action now. So I'm taking the time to buff it very gently into the skin and just really work it into the skin, almost like a moisturizer, as a tinted moisturizer, and taking the time to buff it out. Now, because this foundation is a luminous finish, I'm not going to be using any powders, really. I'm just going to be layering products. So as you can see, she has that healthy glow because the foundation also has that kind of a golden peachy undertone. Taking a bit of makeup remover on a cotton bud, I'm going to wipe the foundation off the lips because you guys know I hate that. <laughs> in most cases, I mean, in some cases it works. And I'm going to be moisturizing her lips with the MAC lip conditioner. So just a thick layer of that. Let it sit while I do the makeup. That's always a good idea. So when we get to lipstick, her lips are nice and fresh and moisturized. I'm going to be taking a bit of whatever is left of that foundation and just running that through the eyelids just to neutralize her lids and take out any discoloration. And this will add as a base for eyeshadow, but I am going to put a bit of concealer there for eyeshadow as well. Even though I'm very happy with the finish of the foundation, I am going to take a damp beauty blender and just tap it all over the skin. I don't usually do this, but I feel like if you have lines and if you have areas where product can settle in, this is always a great idea. It's always, always a good idea because it just takes out any of that excess that you're not seeing that's sitting on top of the skin. And we are gonna go in with concealer, don't forget that, so you can add your coverage where you need it. And for concealer, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in number 25. This concealer is such a good concealer. It's one of my favorites, has quickly become one of my favorites. And because it is a self-setting concealer, you don't need to use powder if you don't want to. Now you know me, I love powder and I really just work with the model and see if she needs any powder or if she doesn't. And in this case, Caroline definitely doesn't need any powder. Don't forget that I am under lights and she is under lights. So she might look more glowy or more shiny than usual, but in real life she does not look oily or greasy. <laughs> so in this case with the concealer, I am brightening her face. 
For blush, I'm taking cream blush because I love cream blush and cream blush is perfect for mature skin. And I'm taking the nude sticks in two finishes. This is the Nudies Bloom, which is more of a dewy one, and Nudies Matte, which is a matte one. And I'm starting off with the Nudies Matte in Sunset Strip, and I'm going to be blending both colors on the back of my hand and taking the Nudies Bloom in Tiger Lily Queen. Just because I have fun with mixing, I mean, you can just use one on its own. That's totally fine. They have amazing colors, so you don't really need to mix. But I am just having fun with it, so I'm mixing both. <laughs> Now, some people say you can put it high up, and I usually do like to put it more on the cheekbone rather than the apple of the cheek, but Caroline has a nice glow and kind of a tan, so I really do want to emphasize that, and I think that'll give her more of a sun-kissed look. And I always like to tap the blush in, especially with cream blush, because I don't want to move the foundation around, and this is always a good technique if you don't want to move the product that's underneath. A bit of blush on the nose and on the forehead really does emphasize that sun-kissed look, that you're healthy, you've been outside but I hope you've been wearing SPF. <laughs> and I'm always giving everything a final tap and blend with my Beauty Blender. For brows, I'm taking the Benefit precisely in my brow pencil, and this is in the shade gray. They actually have a gray shade, which is awesome. I'm just going to be filling in any of the sparse areas in her brows. Caroline has amazing brows that are beautiful. So I'm not really doing much to them. I'm just following their shape, brushing them through, and filling in any of the sparse areas. She told me her brows aren't the same shape and they're not even, and I told her that everyone's brows are like that, pretty much. And I, it really doesn't bother me. I don't really go crazy on having the brows look the same, because I feel like it just adds that character to your face, and your brows are always going to be a bit different anyway. So it really doesn't bother me when people say their brows are different. For brow gel, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is one of my favorite brow gels. I don't like a lot of tint in the brows. Again, it depends on whether you're very fair and you want to add more volume, then tint is great. For a bit of contour on the nose, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha, and I'm just going to be contouring tip in the nose, which is what I love doing when I contour the nose. And I feel like it just adds that nice touch, and it does define your face. And a bit on the lower lip and top lip, just to add more definition, and on the chin as well. And blending that with the brush and taking a bit on the brush if you feel like you need a bit more and just buffing everything in. To prime the eyelids for eyeshadow, I'm taking a bit of that Makeup Forever concealer again and just very lightly tapping it and blending it on the lid. Remember, nothing crazy. You don't want to go too heavy on this or it is going to crease. So you want to just do a light layer and blend it outwards. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be dipping into this beautiful Sigma palette. This is called the Enchanted Eyeshadow Palette. And it has a lot of really nice cool tones. And I want to do cool tones on Caroline because I feel like it's going to complement her gray hair beautifully. And it's not going to really clash if I do something very, very warm. Which, again, you can because you can do whatever you want. But for this look, I felt like a cool tone would really emphasize Caroline's beauty. So I'm dipping into the cream shade just to set the eyes all over and dipping into that pink shade just to add a bit of warmth in the crease. But it is kind of a cool pink, so it's not going to add that crazy warmth. It's going to complement her skin very well. To deepen the crease, I'm going to be dipping into the taupe and the pink just to emphasize that even more and to add a bit of a contour. And slowly building those layers of depth and intensity. And then using that taupe alone to add more intensity. So I'm building up layers in terms of lightness. I start very light and then I build to the darkest shade, which is going to be the brown. Focusing on the outer V and the crease. And to emphasize all the shadow work that we've done, I'm going to go in with the light cream again on the center of the lid. And that instantly makes all the dark shades we put in the crease pop even more. Now I'm going into that brown and using it as an eyeliner, as a base. And winging it out and again focusing on that outer V. And especially with more mature women, you really do want to emphasize the eyes and make them look lifted and beautiful. But you have to work with those layers. Because the results are always going to look better if you layer and take your time. And don't be afraid to get all the way around. Just make sure you control the thickness. So as you can see, just adding that brown as a liner really emphasizes her eyes and makes them pop and look more lifted and open. And to make sure nothing is very harsh, I'm going to take that blending brush again and just blend all those layers because I am going to go in with a final liner. To frame the eyes, I'm going to be taking a bit of mascara and this is the Lancome Hypnose Drama. I'm just going to be coating her lashes and Caroline's going to be doing the rest of the work because she can really get in there. And once she has mascara on, I can see what I want to add and intensify even further. 
So I'm taking a bit of those pinks underneath the lower lash line with whatever is left on the brush. So it has a bit of that taupe and a bit of that pink and brown, but very softly just smudging everything. And I thought it would be really nice to add a bit of that shimmer on the center of the liner because I know some mature women tend to really freak out about shimmer, but you can do it in very strategic placements. You can do it all over if you want. I love shimmer, so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> But this is a nice way to wear shimmer in a very subtle way. Next for a highlight, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand, another cream, and putting that on the high points of the face. Now I found that this with the foundation didn't blend that well for some reason. I tried it with the Beauty Blender and then I did it with a brush. But something about it just really couldn't blend that well. So I think next time I might just use it off with a brush or just go in with another cream. But I did end up putting that Nude 6 Cream blush on top of it again, and it did seem to help. Do you think I was going to do this video without my NARS Mambo Eye Pencil, my eyeliner that I love? I'm taking a bit of this just to define that brown shadow that I've done, just to add more intensity. And this is my favorite eye pencil ever. It's that beautiful chocolate brown, it works for everyone, and it's very, very flattering. For lip liner, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. And I'm going to be aligning her lips all over, and I feel like I need a bit more of depth. So I'm taking the MAC Lip Pencil in Spice. And I'm just going to be going over the edges only and making sure that I overdraw the lips in a very natural way. So this just gives us more definition. And I love how that looks. On top of that, I'm taking the MAC Love Me Lipstick in Très Blasé. I don't know how to speak French, I'm sorry. <laughs> And I'm using that with a lip brush because I want to really work the lipstick in and not have that thick, heavy look. Just working it into the lips as a lip balm and really just getting in there and that's going to give you such a nice finish. And as you can see, it's a nice peachy nude. For blush, I'm taking the NARS Orgasm Blush just to set that cream blush that we did earlier. And because Orgasm has a nice highlighty sheen, it's going to still look very dewy and healthy and alive. So I'm just dusting that all over the cheeks and a bit on the nose. And for lower lash mascara, I'm taking my fan brush and just really getting in there. And that way you can get a very precise application and setting my contour with the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. And I'm using the contour shade and a final mist of the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. And that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you have been asking for it. And if you have anyone that you want to share this with that you think would benefit from this type of makeup, please share it. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next because I'm always reading your comments. I always want to create the looks that you guys recommend. And I can't wait for you to see the next video. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye.